All right, this dude's got major bars, and he's been in the game for quite some time now. It's time to tap in. Let's get into it. You know my squad. You know my squad. I said I ain't nobody messing with my squad. You know my squad. You know my squad. I said now get these other haters out my squad. Subscribe squad, it's another day, it's another dollar, and it's time for another freaking reaction because that is what we do. You look at me and I look at you. That is what we do. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, today we're going to be reacting to Joyner Lucas. And it's a song called Devil Work. But before we get into that, I need you to go ahead and hit that like button. I need you to hit the sub button. I need you to hit that bell button because you can ring my bell. Ring my bell, my bell. Ring it, ring it, ring it. That way you know every single time, every single time I drop a new video. Not only that, but Scribe Squad, you know this, you know this. We're on this journey, we're trying to get to 10K subs, and I swear we're there, we're chugging along, we're getting there day by day. We have no excuses. I'm out here chasing it, you're out here chasing it, so we're gonna go ahead and chase it together and get to 10K subs. Once we do, I'm going to drop the first remix on the channel. The first remix on on Z channel. You feel me? 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 Ha ha ha. All right, so that being said, we're reacting to Jordan Lucas Devil's Work. Be sure to go on my channel and uh check out the reactions I did to Isis and his song with uh Tory Lanez as well. Be sure to check those out on the channel cuz we are tapping in. And then also in the comments below, please make sure you're letting us know what other Joyner Lucas songs that I need to tap into? Now, with that being said, let's hear the man talk. I know he's got something very productive to say today. <laughs> let's go. Staring at this Bible as I keep glancing. Dear Lord, I got questions and I need answers. I'm trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage. Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping. Mm. Okay, all right, you need answers. I need answers too. Let's go. Understand your vision, all I see is damage. Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping. A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing. We supposed to be your children. I thought we family. You supposed to be my father, bro. I need answers. We don't need to die young. We just need chances. Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk. Try, tired of living on the edge, so we, I like that one. That was smooth. Young, we just need chances. Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing. We just want me number one, like Steve Francis. Bow our heads, saying praying out of seas planet. Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish. A lot of good niggas gone, I don't understand it. A lot of families lost and they seem stranded. I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers. I know you watching us from heaven thinking who to say. Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. Mm, 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 cherry picking. Okay, all right. That's, that's a uh, the interesting way to talk to G.O.D., but okay. Hey, cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way. And bring back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Okay, symbolism. We got Tupac and all that. Why are we taking all the good, all the quote unquote good people? All right, all right. Back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Cause you taking the wrong niggas, maybe you should trade. Trade us back all the real ones, remove the fakes. I think you should trade. Give us Tupac back and take that nigga shook. Let the legend resurrect it. Okay, all right. Give us Tupac and take shook. Okay, all right. Tupac. Back and say that nigga shook. Let the legend resurrect it. He gon' live for good. I be screaming thug life in every different hood. If only you can bring him back, Lord, I wish you would. Give us Biggie, give us Pun, give us Triple X. Take that nigga Trump with you. That's a bigger threat. There's too much power for a coward with no intellect. That's a bigger with a collar. There's a disconnect. Niggas dying, mama crying, grandma need a tissue. But this beat kicked in so hard, though, real talk. This beat kicked in so hard. That's a bigger with a collar. There's a disconnect. Niggas dying, mama crying. But the Hennessy bottle in the church, though. <laughs> I need a tissue. Niggas shooting up the church. Now I need a pistol. All them niggas still living. You don't see the issue. But how you take a leader, then you take a leader with you. Mm. I ain't trying to disrespect his need a meter with you. I ain't trying to overstep this one reason with you. Give us back our love ones and take the evil with you. Send them sucking straight to hell. They don't need a vision. I need you to give us back Martin Luther. Take Martin Screlly. Give us. <laughs> Martin. 
smart and scrubby, huh? Okay. All right. Interesting. I don't need a visual. I need you to give us back Martin Luther. Take Martin Screlly. Give us back Malcolm. Take R. Kelly. R.I.P. Lil Snoop. Get that boy's life back. Take Eric Holder. Give us Eric right back. I'm sending you this message, Lord. I hope you hit me right back. They say I'm on the wrong train. I know I'm on the right track. Cause Trayvon Gordon only did what try to fight back. Zimmerman walk around free. We don't like that. Why you take our mothers from us? Fathers and our sisters and our cousins from us. Got these children getting murdered while they double dutching. Wonder why the Murder while they double dutching. Okay, preach on it then. Preach on it. My cousins from us got these children getting murdered while they double dutching. Wonder why the fuck you take Nipsey Hustle from us. Damn, you took a true king, a true brother from us. This a fucking marathon, but they running from us. Now everybody got guns, niggas up to something. And every gangster want to prove that they tough or something. You know it's not fair to tell the truth. I've been in my feelings too. But if you took Emmett Tell, at least take down the roof. At least take James Holmes. I ain't even mad at that. Just bring back Whitney. And give us Michael Jackson back. Fans want me and the slam it down. Ain't no justice for Sandra Bland. We up like a sailor fan. Lord, if you listen, I'm just looking for a hand in hand. Take out the fuck niggas and give us back a fam again. E, e, that part, that part. He talked. We're going to have a good conversation at the end of this song. Okay, preach on it, though. Man, Lord, if you listen, I'm just looking for a hand in hand. Take out the fuck niggas and give us back a fam again. Drowning in my tears, trying to pray for some. Wonder why you give us life for you to take it from us. Wonder why you give us family and erase it from us. Maybe hopefully you can have a conversation with us. Maybe I'm just probably tripping because I need a hug. The hood can't find jobs that we need to plug. It's nothing like a good hug. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like a good, a good hug. Mm. Cause I need a hug. The hood can't find jobs that we need to plug. Everybody in their mama trying. That part, hood can't find jobs that we need to plug. I mean, and, and that's retrospective to anybody's hood. Rather, it's not even a, a what you call it, um, a black or a white thing. That's just a thing. People who live in poverty areas. If they can't find jobs, they gonna go to some other activity to provide for themselves. That part. Uh, the hood can't find jobs that we need to plug. Everybody and their mama try to be a thug. I don't go to church because I'm afraid of being judged. I've been staring at the ceiling as a line bet. Watching niggas follow trends like Simon said. I mean, but that part, a lot of people really do don't go to church because they don't feel like, like that's the problem, I feel like. And mind you, I'm a Christian. I go to church. At least I try to some days. I be sleeping in on Sundays, but that's beside the point. A lot of people don't really be going to church just because they feel like they're going to be judged. And I feel like, I mean, Jesus said, come as you are. Now, I ain't here to give you no sermon or nothing. But he did say, come as you are. My thing is, like, if he could let, if Jesus could let a prostitute wash his feet. And to really understand the context of what that was back then, bro, you should be able to come to church however you are. Whatever it is you got going on. They should be able to give it up to God. Because that is the whole purpose. Is that not the whole purpose? I feel like a lot of people get so stuck on tradition and things have to be a certain way. And it just like, it becomes ritual and not like religious. It's just a ritual where you have to wear this. You have to say this. You have to do that. And that scares people away. I'm sure there's a lot more people that would go to church if they feel like they wasn't going to be judged. Moving on. And there's a line bet. Watching niggas follow trends like Simon says. I pray you give us back the real ones and try again. Maybe take them niggas that deserve to die instead. Tommy Lauren run a mouth and then she get defensive. Laura Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. I really feel like you should teach them stupid hoes a lesson. Either that or give us back somebody who deserved the blessings. I left out a bunch of names that I forgot to mention. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And now I'm reaching out to you, hoping you hear me and return the message. I know that you got our back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love us so you're doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young and I ain't on the guest list. I've been drinking, Lord, forgive me as my blood racing. I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient and it sucks waiting. Mm. Took my mans from me, that forever hurts. Mm, 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 mm. I'll talk about some patience, I ain't got none. Took my mans from me, that forever hurts. But putting the blame on you, that it never worked. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. I like that though. I like that con the concept. 
All right, so then the question we're going to have in the comments below is going to be <clears throat> balance. We're going to talk about life's balance. You feel like everything balances out in life. Like if, if God's going to take somebody inspirational, is he leaving us with somebody not inspirational? Or if we get periods of inspiration, does it just reverse and goes back and forth? I feel like history repeats itself, I'll be honest. We get warnings. We get people to come and tell us positive message and give us glimpses of hope. And then somebody comes and, and does the opposite. So I'm curious. What are your thoughts about balance and messaging? You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Tap in. Tap in the comments below. Love you guys, Scribe Squad. I will see you tomorrow. Let's get it. E. Oh, I will also say, though, that was probably one of his most thoughtful records that I've heard. That wasn't just bars and him spitting. It was just like this was a clear-cut concept of him trying to address something. I like that. Let me know what else. I need to tap into from him. Let's go.